This is Mr. Hagen's study, Detective. Would you like me to stay? I understand if you are not comfortable with such a scene. Don't you worry, Detective. I've seen much worse in my years. I am thankful to have someone of your resilience by my side. I just can't believe someone could have killed him in cold blood. Is that what you think happened? I admire your faith in your fellow man, but you will be surprised what someone will do when they feel there is no other option. Mr. Hagen does not allow any staff into the study, and they were all present in the staff quarters, or part of the dinner service. And everyone was accounted for? Everyone. It is my business to know all my staff's whereabouts. Phone call? Yeah, yeah. It was one of his business associates. Do you know what associate? He didn't say. I think he was French. The accent still confuses me sometimes. And did the Major sound any different to you? Panicked? Anxious? Anything out of the ordinary? Not that I noticed. I think he was embarrassed about ending up on the floor after Master Gideon's one punch. I would be. Your help and discretion in this matter are greatly appreciated. Hmm.
pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. Things are beginning to become clearer. I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction. What a revelation! Some would say a lucky guess, I would say a moment of genius. Anything I can do to help, Detective? Rahana brought him some ice for his cheek earlier. And when was that? When he returned from his cigar outside, he asked for something to be brought upstairs to ease the swelling of his face. He would normally smoke only in here. Lady Vandenbosch doesn't like the smell of his cigars in the public rooms. Your help and discretion in this matter are greatly appreciated. Things are beginning to become clearer. Magnifique. Thank you. 
I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction. Another success. I never doubted myself. The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. Anything I can do to help, Detective? As I said, Mr. Hagen did not allow the staff in here alone, besides me. He was very clear on that. Have the staff ever given him reason to not trust them? Nothing has ever been brought to my attention, but he was very clear no one was to be in here without his permission. I suppose it is not unreasonable. I would have thought with his military past he would have kept it immaculate with not a speck of dust or hair out of place. But the fireplace, for instance, says otherwise. Your help and discretion in this matter are greatly appreciated. I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction. Things are beginning to become clearer. What a revelation! Some would say a lucky guess, I would say a moment of genius. Anything I can do to help, Detective? As you wish.
Another success. I never doubted myself. of the puzzle are finally coming together. Certainly. What do you need? The male guests, I believe, he knows in a business capacity. But I'm afraid that's all I know. I will add, though, he has not always been the easiest man to get along with. You are talking from personal experience of working for him. I am head butler to the Van den Bosch family in their home. He has made himself comfortable, but to me he still remains... Remained... A guest. There's not much I couldn't tell you. As soon as he found out my father was in the army, his stories never stopped. I am sure an officer of his rank must have many a tale. A tale is a fitting description. Not so much a pinch of salt, more like a bag is needed listening to them. 
you've lost me, Detective? I struggle to believe they were both helping her out of the kindness of their hearts. Could they have been fighting for the madame's affection? Ah, that didn't take you long to spot. Your help and discretion in this matter are greatly appreciated. I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction. Some would say a lucky guess. I would say a moment of genius. Pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. Certainly. What do you need? As you wish, Detective. Mm. Mm. 